on the subject of TGU, which is the, obviously the acronym for the Gentleman Ultra, I want to play you a clip from one of their podcasts. The host is an Australian guy called Frank Risorto, and he is leading the TGU Down Under Charge. Frank talks to Vince Grella, the former Empoli, Parma and Torino player. They start off with some of his earlier life in Melbourne, playing with Carlton, playing in what was known as the NSL, the National Soccer League, his journey from Australia to Empoli and his first opportunities and how they came about. This is Frank and Vince. I'm your host, Frank Risotto, and I'm thrilled to be joined by uh, Australian international and a 10-year veteran of Italian football, I guess, um, now retired and living in Italy, um, Vincenzo Grella. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me on, Frank. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure and it's, a, it's an honour. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a huge fan, so I'm trying my best not to be fan starstruck here. So <laughs> I'll carry on and, and away we go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll get stuck straight into it. Um, you grew up in southeast Melbourne. Um, what was it like growing Correct. up in an, an Italian household? I'm guessing it wasn't um, all AFL or, or was it? Or was it um, football, football, football with your, your parents and your... You, you, you know what, Frank? I, I grew up in a, in a very multi-sport uh, environment and family. Uh, we watched a bit of AFL. We watched cricket. Uh, we watch football, we watch tennis. Um, I have two older brothers and a younger sister. And with my older brothers, we played all sports. Yeah, uh, we played on the street, in the driveway, in the backyard, in the park, um, or wherever, as long as we were on the move. So I think my mum's biggest challenge was keeping us uh, inside of the house at some times um but yeah it, it, it was it was a predominant football uh, uh household but we 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 done all of the sports we enjoyed watching the cricket we enjoyed watching the afl the tennis you know we we didn't have any sort of limits on anything so yeah yeah um it was the, a good place to grow up did you get the call in at dark to the lights are in, come on. Yeah, or? no, it was not. It was normally a screaming more than a <laughs> calling, you know. I think my mum trying to control three young boys was 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 a was a was a challenge. But um, the the great lady always uh, seemed to know which buttons to push. So, um, I'm lucky. I consider myself to be lucky. I had two older brothers who taught me a lot of hard sort of rules. And, and, and how to stay involved and, and, and how to compete, you know, um, obviously without going over the limit. But, you know, um, I'm, I'm grateful to them, even though I don't tell them. <laughs> I'll make sure you tell them, make a note of that. <laughs> you've, always yeah. got to, you've always got to tell them, yeah. So, yeah. so fast forwarding many, many years later, you left Carlton mm-hmm. uh, in the mm-hmm. now defunct NSL, I guess. Um, and made the mm-hmm. move across to Empoli. Um, yeah. Were you aware of, fully aware of what was going on? Like, were you prepared for that move on and off the field? To be honest, I, I was not even, apart from, I, I knew roughly where it was on the map. You know, that was a period where there was not a lot of internet Google searches. What's the training ground look like? Who's the coach? Who the players? Uh, the history of the club. Mate, I just wanted to give it a crack. I, I only come on a on a trial period of ten days. I knew I had ten days to that I needed to show them something that I could compete with 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 them, and that I had maybe some some upside for the future. And basically, that's all my my focus was on. Uh, Frank I didn't didn't talk too much. My Italian was very very basic. Um, I could understand, which which helps. My communication was maybe not great at the start, but you know, football, you don't really need to talk so much. You just need to play the game, you know. So for me, it was an unbelievable opportunity. I come with the right spirit as well. I knew that I was making a massive jump from from the National League to Serie A. Um, but I said, why not? If they're interested to have a look at me, I'll, I'll put my 
my my qualities out there on the field and see if something can come from it. And also, yeah. like there was there was a period there where Wollongong was quite competitive, in particular with Carlton, with Melbourne Knights, and they had a few sort of semi finals in a row. Um, yeah. But yeah, like like you said, there's there's nothing to lose. Yeah, yeah. And then you of course got thrown yeah. in straight in the deep end. So tell us about your debut. Well, after after the after the yeah, okay, so, but after the trial, they decided to keep me on a, on a let's say one year trial period. Um, so it was, let's say, uh, uh, technically speaking, a loan with an option to make the loan a permanent, uh, uh, let's say, transfer and then contract. So uh, then the 10 days become one season, not one year. It's, it's, it's less than one year. It's one season. I got there in the October. So uh, what are you talking? You're talking about probably the best part of seven months, you know, seven, eight months to prove yourself for a permanent uh, a deal. I was uh, in the first period, basically traveling with the first team, but normally when the, when the coach selected the match day squad, I was in the stands. I was not part of the match day squad. Let's say I was a standby type of player if anybody was sick or whatever, stuff like this. And and that's actually what happened in, in, in Turin against Juventus. One player was sick overnight, so I was included in the match day squad with no real intention to be used. Then, you know, a little bit of fate, maybe it was just meant to be. Uh, one of the midfielders had an unfortunate cut to his eye and was bleeding. There, there was maybe not, not so clear rules on the, on, on, on the, the blood rule. So they had to, they had to take him off. And I think the coach has had a bit of a look around, seen the, the, the players on the bench and, and, and was scratching his head, not, not really sure who to bring on. And um, mate, he just pointed to me, Frank. And by the way, it was a very cold winter's day. Turin's a cold place. I ended up going there a lot of years after to live. It's cold in the winter. And you imagine you're sitting there, no warm up, no nothing. He just points there and says, are you going on? So I got my stuff off, went to the sideline. He, he didn't really give me great instructions. He just said, go on there and uh, do your thing. And I was like, all right, we'll give it a crack. And um, basically, yeah, that's what happened. You know, I was in an area of the pitch where, let's say, Zidane was moving. Uh, it's, it's not like I went on just to mark him. He, he was more in my area, more in my zone. So obviously the contact with him was more was more regular and um, I was lucky to catch him on a bad day uh, very lucky because if he was on a good day I, I don't think he can mark a player like that doesn't matter how good you are um, and I got him on a really bad day it was the year or, or not even a year it was months after they won the World Cup in France so they were probably still a bit in celebration mode and you know trying to find their feet so I was lucky to catch him on a bad day. We ended up getting a draw, which for Empoli in, in, in those days was an unbelievable uh, achievement. I made my debut. And, and in that time there, already the club was starting to get their head around the fact that, you know, they thought I could be a player interesting for them for the future. You know, so that was, let's say, the start of the club thinking, oh, you know, he's only you know, just turned 19, come from Australia, plays in Serie A and, and was able to compete more than anything physically. I think that was the key at the start, uh, ability to compete physically. So, What a story there from Vince Grella, talking about his time from Australia to Empoli into Serie A as well, up against Zidane in his first game. Incredible stuff from Frank Risorto and the Gentleman Ultra. We will link that one in so you can listen to the full episode 